Let's look at some more examples of solving linear systems using the substitution method. Okay, example two. It says find the solution to the following linear system. x plus y equals 5 and 3x minus y equals 7. So just like before, I suggest uh, label each of the equations just to keep order. So you would label this one as our first equation, this one as our second equation, and the first step, as mentioned before, is to it's to solve for uh, one of the variables, right? So you choose either equation one or equation two, and then you can choose to solve either for x or y. In this case, I'm going to choose equation one again, simply because um, it has smaller numbers, right? I can see here there's like a 1y, you know, 1x, right? So these are smaller numbers. So choose whatever is easier for you. Okay, so let's um, let's do our first step. So first step is solve for y in equation 1. Equation 1. Right, so let's do that. So we grab equation 1. So our equation 1 will now be y equals negative x plus 5. Okay, next, now we're going to use this and we're going to substitute y equals negative x plus 5 into our equation 2. So, um, let's do that right now. So, sub um, our new equation y, uh, 1 into equation 2. So, let's do that. So, we have 3x, let's move this up a little more, 3x minus, open brackets here, close bracket, equals 7, right? So 3x minus um, y equals 7, so we write our y now, minus x plus 5, and now we start uh, simplifying this. So we have 3x, a negative in front, so we can do the following, 3x, this becomes plus x, minus 5 equals 7. Now 3x plus x becomes 4x and the minus 5 can go on the other side so this becomes um, 7 plus 5 that gives us 12. Now we need to solve for x so 4 is multipl multiplying here we'll go dividing on the other side so 12 divided by 4 that gives us 3. Okay, so now we have our x-coordinate, and now what we're going to do is we can sub this x-coordinate into either equation 1 or 2, in our, and, then, and then find out what the value of y is, our y-coordinate. Now you can choose either equation 1 or 2, it doesn't matter which one you choose, um, it, will, it will give you the same answer, so uh, I'm going to choose equation 1 because it has smaller numbers, it makes my life easier, it makes the math easier to do. Okay, so let's write here. Let's sub. Um, what's our next step? So sub x equals three into equation one. So we're gonna do that now, and our equation one is what? Three plus y equals five. Okay, let me just do a limit here just to show so we won't get confused. So three plus y equals five. Now let's solve for y. y becomes 5 when you put the 3 on the other side of the equal sign. When you move 3 on to the other side of the equal sign, you get 5 minus 3 equals 2. So that's it. That's our next coordinate. Therefore, our point of intersection is what? Is 3, 2. Okay. Now, once again, this question is not asking to sketch something, but I'll do a sketch for explanation's sake. But essentially, or you can do a, you can do a sketch on your own as well. But essentially, if you were to graph both, uh, you would see that these lines intersect at three two. So let me just make something up. Kind of, I think roughly it would look like this, right? And these would be their coordinates three two. Okay.